So, okay, thank you for having me. And uh, this is my second session for today's, uh, the, this day. And in this session, I'm going to talk about uh, how we can use co piloting power pages. So, we have much, uh, there are a lot of information has been shared in the previous session by Siddharth, like how, uh, uh, what is power pages and what are the prerequisites and uh, uh, how the artifacts can be utilizing the power pages, but this is related to the same one, but I will explain more about the co-pilot functionality available in the power pages. So before I jump into the session, I would like to uh, brief you about myself. So myself, Kirti Prajapati, and uh, I am independent modern practice consultant, as well as Microsoft MVP and MCT. And I'm very passionate to share my knowledge and experience with uh, uh, Microsoft 365, SharePoint, and Office development that includes Microsoft Teams implementation and Power Platform. And along with this, I am an organizer of uh, M365 and the Bad user group where we are uh, conducting and organizing uh, such events which can help our local community to understand uh, the what is latest trend and what are the new releases provided by Microsoft that can help them to uh, implementing their day-to-day -day activity projects. So if you want to get in touch with me, then uh, in the right-hand side, uh, you can see my social media handler. So I am more than happy to connect with uh, uh, all of, like almost the people over there and uh, be a part of the, the global community. So today uh, I'm just keeping my session very short because in in the previous session you most of the people are aware with uh, power pages and uh, how we can create the site and everything. So I have only one slide for uh, this session and mostly I will be jumping into the demo like how we can utilize the copilot. So so these are the points I have just covered because. Copilot is still in preview, so I'll just list down uh, seven, eight points which I am trying to cover. So first one will be like how we can uh, use the Copilot to create a site based on our requirement. And after creating the site, how we can create the web pages and how to create the forms, the multi-step form. And once you have the section added in the page, like how we can utilize Copilot to get uh, descriptive uh, text for that. And if you want to enable the chatbot uh, in your site, then what are the options available? And from there, you can enable that. And then how to integrate uh, uh, this Bing search uh, uh, by generating answers from public data. So that is another point. And then uh, how you can utilize the code implementation. Like if you want to open something in Visual Studio Code, the whole Power Pages site, and then how you can use Visual Studio Code to write a code using Copilot. So you can just write, get, okay, I need a kind of web API call from this endpoint, and this is the logic I I want to implement. Then it will provide with the code part of that section. So this is the simple agenda I am keeping uh, for uh, this session, and uh, I'm just uh, jumping into the demo now, clinically. So you don't have only one slide, so let me open that. OK. So first thing is like uh, uh, whenever we are talking about the power pages, so specifically with the copilot, right? In the previous session, you might have seen that uh, you may have different environments available uh, from where you can just uh, create the power page site and you are good to go. But let me start from the beginning. Like, what if you don't have this environment available with you, right? So nowadays you have the Power Apps Developer Plan available, and you can use this to implement or uh, have your Power Apps uh, built and tested, just to get an idea like how the Power Platform works. So I have created one from this URL. You can see the powerapps.microsoft.com, then the Developer Plan. So this is available for everyone. We just need to use our uh, uh, official uh, email address just to get this as a, uh, a demo environment. So once you uh, click on get started and then you will be able to fill up this form where it will allow you to uh, uh, have their developer account with whatever the email address you have used. So I have used this email address and uh, I am able to get this uh, environment uh, created for me. 
and from there uh, from there let's see. Uh, I have created a couple of sites yes but what happened when you have the environment so first thing is from the left navigation you can see the power platform component here and you can just jump into the power pages from uh, the services or the family member of the power platform i would say uh, so once you click on that you will be redirected to uh, your power page so let me just click on that so here you have different options so start with the power pages so in in the previous session, you have seen that uh, uh, these are the options to create a site, like other ways to create. You can use uh, its template or blank. And on top of this, you can see one more uh, text box where you can see to start building your website with Copilot. But the problem is in some tenant, it might not be available, this one, right? So how to get this done? First thing is, so from your environment, uh where whatever the environment you are using you have to verify that whether these websites and having the enhanced model or not so once you go to your uh, power platform admin center and from there just go to the resources and then select the power pages sites so once you select site click on that then it will give all this information of the site there you will be able to find that if the site is uh, associated with data model is enhanced or not. This is the most important prerequisites to get this copilot in network. So for it, whether your site is having standard data model or the enhanced data model. So if you have the standard data model, then you will not be able to see that copilot option. But yeah, if you want to get that done, then you can just go to the site and the top navigation here, you have that radio button or the the toggle button is available to uh, enable your uh, enhanced mode. So first thing you have to check this. If the data model is enhanced, then you will be able to see this box here as a uh, uh, option to uh, create any kind of uh, sites or any pages or anything. Right. So for this environment, uh, I have created one site uh, using the template. But here I want to use Copilot and I'm just guiding my Copilot to create a site which I'm looking out for. So for example, for reference, we this provides two options like create a website to submit maintenance request and build a site to track project progress. So these are two options available for now. But if I click on the refresh button, I may have different options available with more uh, 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 option to create a site like create a website to submit customer feedback build a site to track employee training so let me go with this or we have other option here so we can uh, type in something like uh, here like build a site or event organizing right so this is the site i want to go with and just click on this uh, button so it will try to simulate or getting site details like what are the requirements see here it also get the name event organizing so it will identify based on the the, the text i'm providing as a description like what i'm looking out for and it will automatically get this information so let me keep this as is and the name is also available just clicking on next and the template is ready right so here you can see uh, this template will have different options like the banner as well as some uh, tiles or the component area where uh, I can update the things right now here you can also see uh, we have try again option from where if you don't like this layout you can just click on try again and it will refresh the page and come up with more options like one banner four tiles or that uh, side by side option so we have option to select what kind of information we are looking out for right so again again and the third one i will select whatever it comes so you have a number of options available here to get that layout like if you are okay with any of the layout you can just select that and click on the next button and that it will provision all the artifacts like so I, I'll go with this one. 
and selecting next. Now here in the next one, this is the same one. Like if you are using this uh, template one, then it is asking you to create uh, other pages, right? So if I want to create other pages, then these are the options like uh, about us, contact us, FAQ. So I'm just selecting all the pages I want to go with and click on that. So this will help me to provision my site and I will be able to uh, preview that and we'll see how it looks like, right? So let it be provisioned first and then uh, we'll continue with this site. So before that, uh, I want to share a few more things. Uh, let's let's assume that the site is created. And then after it will look like that. This. Like once I will in the site uh, edit section. So you can see in the left side we have the pages styling data and setup. See these are the options available for uh, all the sites uh, we have in the uh, power pages. I think this is still provisioning. Let us see if we can have page here. And the most thing, most uh, like uh, if you want to validate, so in this uh, header part, you can see that option like co-pilot options is also available. So once you click on that, it will open into the right side panel here. And from there, you have different options to deal with, right? So let me, yeah. So let me just close this site and we'll continue on this. So this is my site, and I'm able to see all the pages which I have selected. And I can have the copilot here with me. So the first thing we have created the site using copilot, where I have entered the text like, please create a site for event organizing. And this is the content, right? Now, what if I want to create new page based on my requirement, right? So if I've turned on the copilot from here, I have an option here. You can see what can I help you with, whether you do base design or data form. So let Let's go with the page design first. And it is asking me, I can certainly help you with the page design. So what type of page I want to create, right? So uh, let a, let's create a page. I'm just clicking on create a page and there are different options available. So if you are good with this, just select it. Otherwise, we have an option to uh, prompt uh, this one and uh, it will create based on whatever the information we are putting in. Okay. So let's say, for example, I'm just creating a uh, this one frequently asked questions and just clicking on that. So it will create this form, this page, and that page will be available here. And then once this is done, uh, we will be able to edit that page as per our requirement. So it will still uh, take some time just to provision and uh, put it, that uh, information into this navigation. Here you can see I already have one each name FAQ, so it will automatically find the name and add the number. And it also has some more information like what would be available into the FAQ page. And then it also asks us to review the page as a preview. So this is the preview. And if I'm okay with that, I can just click on keep it or I can delete it. Right. So th this way you will have more options to uh, deal with this or you can change it like so for example. I want to keep this page and this is available in my navigation panel. Right now, this is the second point we have just explored, like create the AI or the AI preview or copilot. Now, what if you want to add some text? Right. So here you can see the different sections available. Now I want some something to be a kind of more explainable uh, description for any user. So I'm just clicking on this and, uh, and add a section, one column or section and text. Right. So for this section, I want to use my copilot. Like what information I want to add, right? Because I know the bullet, but I don't know what would be the description for this uh, FAQ page. So I'm just using my copilot and asking like. Uh, uh, describe the benefit of or provide the step by step instruction. So let's go with this and click on the next. So I'm not sure this request is appropriate. Try and rephrase it. Okay, let me see it. Benefit of that order. And that's it. 
so now it will uh, uh, create a paragraph for me based on the whatever the text i have entered now it is not necessary that you can just keep this as is but as uh, everyone knows that it is just giving us a kind of uh, highlighted information from where we can keep or exclude some of the information from here or we can update few of them right so if you are okay with that then you can just click on add to page or rewrite it or you can just change it you can just uh, uh the text could be longer or shorter and these are the options available right so if you do, if you don't go with the copilot then we we don't have those options available to uh like like this i can get more information so i'm just clicking on add to page and all this information available on this page right and just click on scene so make sure that whatever the changes you are doing you are I'm just clicking on the sync to make it available for end user who are actually accessing this uh, uh, web application uh, as an anonymous user or uh, a dedicated user. So once this is published, then this will be available for end users. So let's go how it will look like. So you can see here the HTML is not as expected. So you can edit those uh, text as an HTML going forward. So but you click on preview and you have to walk options desktop and mobile so i'll go with the desktop and then uh, it will give a glimpse like how the site will look like so you can see by default it takes faq2 because i have run that command from uh, faq page 2 so i'm just clicking on home page so the site will look like this and all the navigation options are available here right so uh, that's how we can create the page using copilot now let's say you are trying to create some forms, but you don't have an idea like what are the fields I'm going to include in that form. So I, so I have the contact us form here. Uh, it's not form, but it's information to uh, have the connection or uh, connect with uh, using phone number or email address. But what if I want to create my own form where user and some can get that notification? So uh we can create one form called data form and i'm asking my copilot to create a form uh for uh let's say for example create a form to apply for a credit card and click on that so based on the text whatever i have entered it will identify the prerequisites fields so here i do not have to worry about what type of field uh, i need to go with or i i have to uh, uh create into my entity so it will get those ideas and provide me the best suitable options along with the form design so here you can see along with the data itself right so application id and this will be the format for data right credit card 001 then full name date of birth email address and here it is not necessary that you can keep these field as is but here you also have an option to uh, remove those fields as well. See here you can see remove the agreed terms field. So if you want to remove this field, agreed term fields here the radio buttons. So you can just click on that and it will remove this field from the table uh, form and uh, uh, reload the form with the remaining controls. Right? See the form is uh, the controls are not there now. And if you feel that okay i missed out one field which is not listed here you have an option to create that field from here itself okay so uh, let's keep it keep this as is and just click on okay so this will create a form and then the form will be available in any of the page wherever you want to put it uh, and that can be accessible by user so I'm not going to talk about the permission to connect with this form for end user, but the form will be available for end user once uh, this is published. And uh, all the information like uh, we can also edit that we can also provide the permission. So once it is loaded, we have that edit form options available from where we can change the look and feel of the form if required. And uh, we can provide the permission settings like authenticated user can access that or anonymous user can access that so all those information can be uh, uh, updated into that form design layout once we have this provision uh,
uh, into the system. So, yeah, and you can see all these options edit form, edit field, permission. This is same like in the in the manual form. But the best part or good part is the form is readily available with us, and we just need to uh, play with what kind of layout we are looking for. So I'm just keeping as is. I'm not going to change anything. And then again, save this. So it will save my uh, uh, information into the code. Uh, and then it will be immediately in end users. And so we have created the form. And let's go to the preview page and see how my page will look like after loading the page or the basic form on that. Same way you can create the multi-step form where you have to provide the information like what kind of uh, form you are looking out for. So again, you have to give those kind of commands uh, from here. Uh, this one, the prompt guide, like it, it will help you to get that form created for you. So that's the third point. And the fourth point is. Uh, so here in the left navigation, we can see uh, we have different options available. So if I click here. Setup. So under the setup, you can see we have a uh, option called chatbot. So how I can integrate my chatbot in uh, Power Pages as well as uh, once I, I publish it, I may require something to be uh, accessible from different endpoints so I can enable that, right? So by default, it is disabled in any of the environment. So how you can enable that? So first you have to click on the chatbot preview. And then in the in this video, in this screen, you can see this create and test chatbot. So by default, this is disabled. But I have enabled it just to make some time saving because it may take around a couple of minutes to provision that. So whenever you are creating any uh, power pages environment, make sure that chatbot preview is enabled. So that is why I'm able to see this option when I'm trying to create that uh, sign. The description for creating the site. Okay. So once this is available, and let me see the preview. Right here, you can see the my chat bot. It is there. Now, what I'll do, I am just disabling this from here. So it will again uh, take some time to uh, delete this chat bot from uh, uh, my portal. So once this is done, I will think again and just come back to on this page and refresh it. So I will not be able to see this uh, chatbot window. So let's do that. It is deleted. I'm syncing this. And once this is done, I'm again just refreshing this uh, website page or I can just click on the preview. And go back to that. Start refreshing this. And once the page is refreshed and reload, I will not be able to see this one that is gone. Right? So uh, you can also identify if your chat what is enabled or not. So you just go to the home page and see on the bottom right if that open window is coming, then it means the chat what is enabled in your uh, portal. So let's enable this again. And then you can publish uh, chatbot on the site. Uh, once it is enabled, you have the option to uh, publish this uh, so other users can also access it. So uh, let's do this syncing. So this also takes some time that like you create it and delete it. So everything is in provision from the beginning. And once this is done, we will be able to see that parts here on the portal. And then uh, I have opened some reference URLs if you want to look into that. Like uh, I have identified few of them. For example, uh, if you want to create any site, then if you go to this uh, Microsoft Learn dot learn.microsoft.com where you have this uh, power pages option. So the, uh, in these sections, you can see the create an AI generated site using Copilot. So all the steps are mentioned where you have to enable that as a prerequisite. You can see 
this option like I will explain. Uh, make sure that it is enabled in your environment. Otherwise, you will not be able to see that. And then uh, you can create this uh, pages or other features available. So you can also explain or explore more. So I have covered this uh, most of them in my uh, this session. And uh, you can see the how to create page, how to create form, multiple forms, then text and preview the chatbot. So these are the points and I'm covering this, but yeah, this is the reference link if you want to go through all of that. So once this is enabled, I can just click on this to make it available for other users. And then what if you want to uh, uh, make it, uh, what check that test it, like test the chatbot before you publish, right? Before publishing, it's just most important to validate like how uh, my chatbot works and how the data is coming so you can use this option from here as well and after testing this if it is a requirement like how uh, 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 your bot will be enable uh, being searched for copilot then you have to uh, go to this uh, view copilot analytics and then uh, uh track the user engagement like how the users are engaging with so, your co-pilot so once i click on this it will ask me to get the microsoft 365 co-pilot lens so i'll come uh, on later on that so this bot is available now here you can see uh you can just type in uh what type of let's see it works with Right. So uh, this is just an example, but uh, the again, if you want to extend this bot, then you can also use this, bring your own data uh, into uh, as a data source. So you can see uh, it gives the data, whatever information we have into the, the site or any of the pages. Once I click on that, it will redirect you into that, I think, on the landing page. But again, uh, if you want to extend this as per your requirement, then you can just use this as a base and, and update the algorithm or add your topics and all the contents it's kind of virtual is nothing else, right? So uh, it will help you to uh, provide you all those information, right? Here you can see the FAQ page, it already opened with uh, this prompt. So that's how it is opening that. And now if I come to this point, then uh, how you can uh, uh, how Copilot Analytics works. So if I want to enable this, then just click on that and it will I think it will ask me to have this Copilot license first. Let me see. Yeah, so I have to go with welcome to the Microsoft Copilot Studio and it will ask me to start a free trial version. So once it is available, then you will be able to see all this uh, uh, analytics, like who is accessing what and how many hits we are getting on a specific page, so that all this information will be available from here. Now the other thing is, uh, if you want to um, update anything, let's say for example, you have created all the pages. This and it's a, a combination of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, or then the liquid, right? But now, what if I want to do some kind of uh, coding hands on rather than using some HTML or some CSS here? So, you have an option to open this whole uh, Power Pages portal into uh, Visual Studio Code, right? So, once you click on this uh, edit code, yeah, it will ask you to open Visual Studio Code, and from there, if the account which you are using is associated with your copilot license then you will be able to see that uh, copilot option available from there you will be able to write or guide ask him that okay uh, you can see the copilot power pages and let me see if i can read this in javascript So my account is not associated with that, so I need to enable that. So once you click here, like if I go link any of the page and check for profile, I don't see that option because I my account is not linked with that. But the other option is whenever you uh, your account is linked with uh, uh, that uh, services or uh, co-pilot account, 
then you will be able to open this uh, section and ask uh, in your language like okay, I need a kind of uh, uh, line of code to validate the uh, email address, for example. So it will write code for you and you can use that code not as is, but as as per your requirement, you can also update and modify a few things and then code is available uh, to validate a few things. So that's another thing. And other point, yeah. So uh, if the copilot is available in my uh, Visual Studio code, then it will look like this. Right? So here it will give me a kind of uh, function. Uh, it will write a function for me, like this, and I can use that function in my JavaScript. And then this this type of section will be open if the, the account is available in the compiler. So that's another point uh, uh, you can you can explore more on how to use that uh, in Visual Studio Code. And then again, uh, text is the and chatbot. Yeah, chatbot. We have just seen that uh, widget is also available. So uh, you can also extend or customize this one. As I mentioned that. This chatbot is available here in this portal. But based on your requirement, you can change it uh, from this one because it's a eventually it's a power virtualization. So everything can be customized. So how we can customize that? So you can just open the code editor, then explore navigation. Then you have to open the header.html where you have these options uh, for our uh, chatbot widget. Right, so you can explore this uh, in detail and identify like what kind of information you want to change, like header. Here you can see the number one is header, then you can update the CSS accordingly, and uh, you can make it that chatbot look alike with your legacy portal. Like if you are observing or uh, following some rules for your web application. It had the, uh, the background color and font color font taste should match with your legacy portal, then uh, uh, better to pop up with that by creating that uh, custom purport, custom changes in the that one. And the second one is uh, this one is for so yeah, edit code. So as I mentioned, that uh, uh, you can use uh, Visual Studio Code just to not related to getting all this information from a profile, but if you know that how to write a code or how to write the HTML, or correct the HTML, then you can also manage that. Like, so for example, if I want to copy the same thing, I am able to copy the same thing from that uh, portal as well. But here you have more control on like what kind of information you want to change in, instead of copy, copy and paste the whole component from the, uh, the page. So that's another thing. And uh, let me see. Yes, for search, I think we have to get that uh, co pilot license. And then uh, the AI generated code is already there. We just need to associate our account with that power pages. Just like code. Then chatbot type of text is covered. The AI text generated form we have created. So I think most information I have covered, which is still in the preview. And uh, if you want to get more insights on that, then this is the area from where you can find uh, as a source link. But there will be more details available. Uh, you can just start from here. And it will give you more idea, like step by step. Connect this copilot uh, with the requirement you are looking for. and uh, the, the different steps you can follow using this uh, co pilot options available in the power. Yeah, I think uh, that's it from my side because uh, I have this uh, eight elements to explore more because uh, the power pages that uh, the basic you already know, so I'm not going to uh, cover that, but this is just on top of that, like apart from manual process. What kind of options are available uh, in Copilot and what can be covered as a preview was done? So, yeah, that's it from my side. I think give it 12 minutes back. 
patients. Yeah, co pilot C for. Uh, I can replace this. No, not at all. It will not replace any of us. We are stay here and we will be there. So don't worry about it. Because see, as I mentioned, co pilot is just providing us a base framework. What are what we are looking out for? It is not a concrete answer from the co -pilot. And it, it also says, like, if you observe that when I was creating the form, it was asking me that is not 100% as per your request. See, uh, see here, make sure AI generated content is accurate and appropriate before using. So it is not saying that, okay, whatever the information you are looking out for and you are getting is 100% true and correct as per our requirement, but we have to validate that before we want to use any. So that's the one point that we have to keep in mind. So this is a tool which can help us to reduce our work in terms of thinking like what kind of content or what kind of information I'm going to use for this one. For example, I want to create a form, right? So I'm not sure what kind of fields I should have. But when I use Copilot, it will give me an idea. OK, these are 10 fields which can be available as per your requirement or you want to exclude or add some more. So that base is ready for me. But yeah, again, I have to think about it and I have to decide what kind of fields I'm going to use in my entity and what needs to be excluded. So uh, our job will be there. So don't worry about it. But yeah, Copilot definitely uh, help us a lot like in terms of productivity task and some other information like how you can use the GPT, uh, the chat and open AI. So well, all all will be there, but I we need to identify what can be uh, useful for us in terms of enhancing the productivity as a developer. And what's the license required to use Copilot? So for power pages, I don't see any license as of now, but as I mentioned that when you are trying to connect with uh, the Microsoft 365 chat application, then you have acquired a license. Right? So that is still under a preview, and I think was declared that you might have minimum 300 license required for Microsoft Copilot. For here, uh, we just have to enable that enhanced uh, data model. And how we are going to use this, not in terms of only power pages, but are you going to use the scope binder to extend something uh, like using uh, any kind of uh, uh, Microsoft Teams uh, development or any SPFX component development? So in that case, it may be possible that you have to go with some Microsoft 365 chat uh, or, or you want to create any plugins, then you may have to go with the licensing part. But yeah, all this information regarding licensing and other you can just find from here. Uh, let's see. I think Siddharth has said uh, into the power pages what so you can refer that link and uh, get more insights on the, the co-pilot part, but as far as uh, the, the developer account is created, we do not have to worry about uh, that co-pilot license just to get that idea. The patients. Yeah, I think I don't see any other questions here. So I'm 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 done with my session and uh, yeah, thank you again for having me. And uh, this is the second session for for the day from my side, and I definitely and uh, enjoyed the session. And I wanted to thank all the attendees. Thank you so stay. much. Thank you so much, yeah. Kriti, for your fantastic session. Yeah. We can thank you and twice like, for uh, that to say. Yeah, yeah. I would like to thank uh, all the attendees to stay a whole day. Like it's a very, very long process to start from first session and yeah. stay back for whole day. So I would like to thank all of attendees as well as all the organizers for uh, organizing such a wonderful event online and uh, 
allowing all the attendees to get more insights from different speakers and i'm also thankful to uh, have this platform first time i'm speaking with saudi arabia user group and uh, yeah thank you everyone for having me